Welcome back to Neural Splendor. Today we're going to finish the CAT Low Boost series. Uh, today you're going to see some actual troubleshooting. I took vids of it as we did it. And I'll uh, dub over a little bit of it so you know what was going on. And if this helps you or you know people that it will help the information on my channel, let them know about it. Please subscribe. It helps me. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor. First thing you wanted to do is simulate boost. And so we use a potentiometer plugged into the pigtail. You'll see that in a minute. And what we do is we use the potentiometer to raise the boost pressure. We've got CAT Electronic Technician. That's the software to diagnose the engine hooked up. And we're watching the boost reading on the monitor. You'll see that in a second. And we're going to try to get up to 26 inches of boost here because we've got air escaping from the boost control solenoid and we wanted to see if it would stop doing that when we reached that 26 psi which kind is in this engine in case the magic pressure where that starts to change states our potentiometer didn't have the range to reach the boost setting so we added that 2k resistor in series and now we were able to go actually up to 32 psi simulated but there's our 26. The solenoid did not change states, so now we decided to take the solenoid out and check it. Here we're going to be checking the ohms on the solenoid, and they're 2.4 ohms, and that is reasonable for the uh, what that solenoid is and what it does. That's in the wire. There you That's can see we've got a, an no, air control the hooked up to the boost oh. wastegate line so we can control pressure to it. We plumbed in a regulated air supply so that we can control the pressure exactly that's going to the wastegate so it's not damaged. And we're going to check it at the opening pressure, which is 26 PSI, and make sure that that wastegate can starts to move. First, we've got to get the solenoid to function so that the air vent closes. There was no state change when we raised boost pressure up over the change point which was 26 PSI. We had it as high as 33. We never had air stop venting out the vent hole in the wastegate housing. So we removed the solenoid and took it apart and found out that that rod was stuck in the coil. The coil was actually good. The ohm reading was about 2.4. The ball that moves up and down to actually see, uh, change, let the air escape up in the front housing there, front section, that was fine. It was just a matter of that rod was stuck. So we bought a solenoid, replaced it, and you'll see later on where uh, you'll be able to hear the air changing states when we uh, jump voltage to this. A little bit. Yeah. I got to go a little bit higher in pressure. I don't want to jack it too high. Well, 20, you said 39,000 full. At 20 PSI. Yeah. Yeah. It, now when you, yeah. when you jump that on, now the, the thing moves over there, right? Yeah. yeah. So we know we're, that solenoid is working now. In summary, we ended up replacing that waste, contrates, waste gate control solenoid. We installed the new one. We ran one wire to the plug, 12 volts, and that other wire that the uh, tech had in his hand, the ground was, was the ground. We put air to the wastegate line. We had 26 PSI going to it. And we started tapping that alligator lead on ground, which was opening and closing the new solenoid. So the new solenoid was now functioning correctly. We did that. We tapped it and not held it on because that's a pulse with circuit that drives that. That is a uh, six, about a six amp circuit, 2.3 ohms and a 12 volts uh, system. And when it running. It's almost 14 volts, so you're almost at 7 amps. That's a lot of current to run through small wires all day, but the ECM pulse widths it. So when it does, that allows you to run more current. The reason you want more current in that solenoid is you have a very strong magnetic field, so that pin can overcome uh, the air pressure, hold that ball up to keep that 26 PSI up in there. And remember, that solenoid only works when the ECM wants to control the pressure right at the peak boost where the wastegate would start to open. So now the system was functioning correctly. 
we actually uh, ran the pressure up to 33 psi and when we tapped that solenoid and closed it the wastegate would open to about 186,000 so we knew that everything was working correctly mechanically and we put this thing all back together plugged all the plugs in where they belong we had no faults took it for a road test it ran fine and in the next video I'm going to talk about the boost gauge on the dash that the customer was complaining about the air system now was fixed and the cat was ready to go. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor. See you next time.